Well, welcome back everybody to Most Ball Manager, the GT series playthrough. The playthrough from hell, <laughs> or the game mode from hell. God, creating your own team is such a great idea. But now, now you see, when you see all these new teams entering motorsport, entering Formula 1, and they struggle so so hard, apart from Haas, they're the only recent team that's done a decent job, and that's because they're buying most of their car from Ferrari. <laughs> but you see why they struggle. It's flipping difficult. And this is a great simulation of that. Um, so not too bad last time out. It was uh, 12th and 17th? 12th and 17th, yeah, I do, I can trust my memory, good. Um, and we're slowly slipping down in the standings after our incredible start. We're still third in the constructors and fifth and seventh in the drivers. But we've got to accept that we're really going to start struggling now as things even out. Now, our major concern at the moment is we're losing almost a million per race. Now that we're not getting that eighth place to get the sponsor bonus, um, it's now over a million per race. Now we've got some sponsors that will be on their way soon. Next race will be Rush Jet and in two it will be Bovista. So we're really going to have to try and roll from race to race. Um, sorry, from sponsor to sponsor. And that's going give to give us our budget to um, hopefully make a few more improvements for, uh, for the car before the end. Let alone just making sure we can break even. Um, so we're not going to be able to put anything else on the car uh, this episode at least. Um, we do have that new suspension part, which we can work on. Um, we've got quite a lot of room for improvement with the parts we've already built. So we'll concentrate on just making the maximum from what's already built over the next few races. Uh, so let's get going with today's episode. So, what can we improve then? So, the reliability of these engine and gearbox parts um, and the brakes are pretty much up to scratch now. It's those two new suspension parts that we need to worry about. So I'm going to move that engine over to here. Um, I'm going to let that engine and gearbox run for a little bit and then we'll cut those two off to just improve the suspension to make sure we can get it on the car for the next race. We've got 23 days so we've got quite a while till the next race. Um, in terms of performance, there's a lot of performance to get out of these new suspension parts. So. I think I shall transfer the, this engine and this gearbox to these two uh, parts just there. We'll switch that back to 10 temp and we'll get on with it. Now the thing we need to concentrate on is the fact that we're probably going to be in the lower half of the top 10 from now on, but we do have a car that can at least compete roughly on pace with cars if we get ahead. So strategy we can still get some good results if we get strategy right. I still think 7th or 8th is probably the target. It would be great to target 5th or 6th, um, but unless something amazing happens, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but you never know in motorsport. <laughs> you never know. If we get the right strategy, the right tyre calls on the right day, we can still get a couple of results that could keep us at the sharp end of the table. you got to keep thinking like that, otherwise what's the point? <laughs> We're doomed. We're doomed. Anyway, a uh, new vote. Points for the top five. Um, this is a tricky one. Because we will be in this league next year. We're not really going to be consistent in the top five next year. I would like to think we are, but I still think we're going to be sort of mid-table come next year unless something amazing happens. So, ideally, this is not really going to help us, but I am thinking about the start we had this season. If we have another good start by concentrating on the reliability and getting a few early results, then it means we could get some points on the board that some of the lower teams may never be able to beat because as it things even out, There'll still be teams that can't crack that top five, including us. But if we've got those early points on the board, it could work out better. So I'm going to say we go for it. It's a risk. Um, cause also, we don't know where the car's going to be next season. But I would like to see that happen. And happen it will. So top five next season. It's going to be very difficult um, for us. But it could work out early season 
if it's a blueprint, if this season is anything to go by. So I'm happy with that. We probably didn't need to waste two votes on it, let's be honest. Um, I've forgotten to switch the reliability. How are we getting on? Uh, 58 and 68, right, we'll switch those two off and just concentrate on that suspension. Um, and we'll see how high we can get it. I think we'll go a little bit higher. If we go all the way, 13 days, no. We'll go 12.8. Just try and get those those suspension parts I, I feel confident we can put on the car now. If we can get them both a few more percent higher before the race, that would be good news. Right, let's continue. We're going to be chastised again for our spending patterns. It's not much I can do about it. Again, it's my team, you asshole. <laughs> he's basically the bank. What does it say? He is the chairman. Yeah, he's not the chairman. He's the bank, basically. It's the bank we borrowed the money from <laughs> to start the season. Right, we're ready for this race then. Uh, we will choose 8 for above again. Probably going to struggle in case unless we get in a you know a great strategy call. There is rain for the race that is possible, um, but we'll go for it again because that seventy six thousand is useless to us. Right, there was some talk in the comments about um, us maybe giving Vosu a bit more of a equal car to Dreyfus. I will try and even them up a little bit. One thing you do have to remember is Dreyfus is contracted as number one, so we've got to keep her happy in that regard. We are obligated to give her. A better car. It doesn't have to be as much better than Vosu's as it is currently. So we'll see if we can reverse that. Right, the two suspension parts, 72 and 65 we got them up to, so I'm more than happy to put them on the car. And they're going to be a massive improvement from what we had last time out. Um, so we will give um, Vosu the better suspension. Still 7%, 7 to 1. Hmm. What can we switch back? Dreyfus has got all the better parts on everything else. So let's switch maybe gearboxes. Oh, she's angry now. 3%. As good as Claudia's. She's really not happy, is she? <laughs> you know what? She's going to have to roll with it. Let's give Jacob his chance. Let's give him a slightly better car. Or an equal car, I think he said. Yeah. Let's give him equal cars and see how it turns out. See if he can do the business. And then we can continue giving them equal cars as long as Claudia doesn't get too pissed off about it. <laughs> um, right, so we're ready for the race. I shall get practice done. Um, and then I shall see you for qualifying. Okay, it's time for qualifying then. Not a bad practice session. 94% um, for Dreyfus, 96 for Vosu. It's a very short lap round here, I've noticed as well little ring circuit reduced from the normal single seats and probably the upper GT series layout uh, which is going to make strategy in the race very interesting um, there is rain forecast for the race as well does mean you could probably get away with a little bit more than you would do on a longer circuit um, but let's turn our attention to qualifying then which is what we're here for Round about 15th, 16th would be nice again. Just in the middle of the rear of the rear, the there, in the middle of the rear of the midfield. Why was that so difficult to say? Um, and yeah, not last, but just so that we can compete with those last few teams and actually have a good race of it would be a good sign. Our car is still in good shape. Vosu crosses the line and does a 57-2. Drafes across the line does. Pretty much the same time at 57.2. So good time for both our drivers. Well, very level times. Whether that's going to gain us a few positions on the grid, I don't know yet. Very short lap also means we don't have to go out straight away to get our second run in. We may as well wait until the track grips up a little bit. And send them out towards the end to get the optimal lap. We're lying in 18th and 19th then. Um... But within a tenth, just over a tenth of that 15th place that we're after. So we'll wait till around two minutes and we'll go for a second run. Hopefully our drivers can find a little bit more. Um, Dreyfus still with that neck brace on. <laughs> I wonder if that is still affecting her performance. I would expect her to be... Right, let's send you out. Stop moaning. 
Good grief. Out she goes. And out goes Vosu. So yeah, I would expect her to be a couple of attempts on average above Vosu. She should really be the better of the two drivers. But whether that neck brace is affecting her. Or whether she can find a little bit more time in her second run. Hopefully both drivers can and get us a little bit further up the grid. Um, that sort of 15th to 20th, that's the group we're in. And it's super competitive in that group. So just the smallest of improvements could make all the difference. So it'll be Dreyfus that crosses the line first. She comes to the line now. 57-2 to beat. She does 57-1. She's found a 10th improvement. Vosu improves as well. 57-1. Both get an improvement. Moves them up a little bit in the order. Everybody has finished. So we're 16th and 18th on the grid. And we're right in that in that group that we expect to be. That's the step we want to take for next year, I think. Try and get into the Fernley, the Minzy, the Parker there. Get within a second of the leaders. Um, but for the moment, we're competitive with those around us. We're where we expect to be. Uh, we're, right, we're not right down the back. Look at that. Just, just over a tenth and a half between 15th and 20th. And we're nestled in there. 16th and 18th. And Vosu out qualifies Dreyfus. That hasn't happened too often this season. So whether that's giving, a, giving him the equal car or Dreyfus's neck injury or just the driver on their day. But um, Vosu with the early advantage. As we move on to the race then. A little bit of rain as expected. Looks like it's going to be into weather. Let's see. Yep, intermediates. So what are the options here? No refueling this year of course. So pit stop guru, no point in that. So soft tyres and race trim. And we've got to hope that there is some dry weather at some point during the race. Dreyfus, we will also go... So actually, no, we'll use Engine Expert and Race Trim because we don't know that we're going to be using those dry tyres just yet. Um, strategy, nothing to change there. Uh, set up, sorry, and we'll go push and high because I'm not too worried about the reliability now. Most of the field should be getting to the end of the race without any repairs. Right, we are ready to go then just need to get as good a result as we can we need to get the crossover point if there is one correct but we're underway fairly average start for everybody around us apart from that big line on the right hand side of the grid that just stalled halfway down the straight so both our drivers make up a bunch of positions 12th and 13th as we go into the chicane Dreyfus battling hard with Vosu Going to try and go around the outside. Can't make it. Vossi going forward up to 11th. Dreyfus losing a bunch of positions on the outside line. Vossi makes up another position into 10th. This is a great start from him. And we just see that AI thing again. It's almost like when you see Football Manager, it's like there's a, there's a visual 3D element to it. But what is happening on the track is isn't reactive it's all numbers behind the scene and it's all predictive almost and just the way that if one car goes badly into a corner it lets like six past on the left hand side and it holds everybody up they can't react they're like they've got like two tracks that they can drive around the track on two lines oh we got a very early safety car um the rain is going to be with us for a while so there's no point in pitting i don't think uh, but we've made a great start anyway, so we don't want to lose those positions. We're in 9th and 11th. So, a very good start. Whether we've got the pace to stay in these positions, I don't know. It's all going to be about what happens with the strategy later on. And yeah, that's what I found the hour. It's like, they have two tracks they can go on. And if you're in one track and there's a hold up, they can't react and go around the car. They have to stay in that lane, almost. They're like automated cars. It's like they don't have drivers. It's a little bit annoying, but... I mean, it's all the numbers and the stats behind the screen, the scene. That's what dictates the race. You do have a bit of reaction, of course, in it. And what you do with your drivers. But um, I guess that can be forgiven. Because it's, it's more about the total package than being a racing simulator in terms of the races and the driving itself. But... Um, be nice to see some improvements of that at some point. 
Right, the safety car is going to be heading in this lap. Nato and Kinney are the two cars that cause the safety car. They're both out. We'll go back to two speed for the restart. Just to get things moving. No dry weather on the horizon. Let's go with the boost straight away. See if we can make up some early ground. We do. Drafes went past two cars into turn one. Vosu now battling hard down the outside of everybody and his teammate. Right, we need our two cars to stop fighting quite as heavily as this. But they are making great progress. 7th and 8th at the moment. Right, tyres starting to overheat a little bit, so we'll go back to neutral. We need to save the fuel because we cannot refuel later in the race. And we have another safety car. Another safety car. Right, let's back off with the fuel. Get that saved. We should have done that in the first safety car period. Um, should give us something to play with later on. Tire temperatures are okay, so we'll stay on neutral. And all this is helping, really, with fuel loads and tire wear because there is dry weather on the horizon, it looks like. So this will help us go far enough into the race to stop onto the dry tires without having to make a stop prior to that. So it's Channon that time that was out. This is all helping us with positions as well. Um, less cars to beat. Ooh, beg my pardon. I had a fizzy pop. And I had a little bit of gas. <laughs> so I had to point that out. It probably didn't even show up in the mic. Just making pleasant conversation for another safety car period. This is turning into Baku all over again. As long as my two drivers don't take the role of Force India in this race and take each other out, then I'm happy. I presume that can happen. I've never seen it happen. I've seen two drivers take each other out. I've seen... Drivers take my drivers out. I've seen drivers, my drivers take other drivers out, but I wouldn't wish it because we're in such a good position. But I would kind of like to see our two drivers crash. See if there's any. I doubt there is, but I'd love there to be like a rhetoric that comes up in like interviews and um, like you have to make a decision on how to discipline your drivers or deciding whose fault it was. That'd be a nice sort of added element to the game. Right, safety car is coming back in this time around. We'll go back up to medium fuel. And we will go to push. Because the tyres have lost some temperature under the safety car. And we're underway again. Let's use this boost. I should have used that a little bit earlier. That's just about save Vossu from getting swamped into the midfield. It's all going on right now, but we've sm somehow managed to stay in 7th and 8th as Vosu goes down the inside of Dreyfus, and that's compromised Dreyfus as she drops down into 9th. We're fighting here. We've got the pace, which is good news. Oh, Dreyfus is off. Dreyfus has crashed. She's gone straight into the gravel trap on turn 1. And that's her race over with. That's such a shame. Everything was going so well. Oh dear, I don't know what happened there. Just pushing too hard into turn one, maybe. Don't think there was a car failure. Obviously everything's in pretty bad shape now. So just the one driver to concentrate on makes it a little bit easier on strategy, but of course, I would prefer both of them to still be in the race. That's going to make a big dent into our championship standings, I'm sure. Vossu going backwards now into 11th. And... Dry weather is coming pretty soon. So we need to get the right crossover point. <coughs> With one, just one car, we don't have to worry about stacking or about getting, giving one driver the advantage over the other. We just have one car to make that decision with. It's probably going to be another lap or two. Vosu continuing to go backwards. We're going to use his boost to try and defend there, but it was too late to react. And I don't know why Vosu is losing so much pace. We obviously just got caught up in all the mayhem that got us those positions. This is where we should realistically be on pace. So I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. But we kind of need Vosu to have a mega race now with Dreyfus dropping out. At least you'll finish above three cars. 17th won't be too bad. Um, 
We need to try and find a way to work Vossu a bit further up. Right, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to go early onto the dry tyres. Uh, 16 to 18 laps medium, 12 to 14 on the softs. I think it's going to be a two-stop. Um, a three-stop race, sorry. I think there'll be two stops on the dry tyres, unless it rains again. So we'll go soft, soft. We'll put the softs on. Mediums won't make it to the end, or if they will, they'll be so knackered, we'll lose so much speed. Uh, put a little bit of charge in, we'll keep it balanced. Was mentioned we should go with safe pit, pit stops, but it ha doesn't happen all that often. It's going to happen now, because I've just said that. No, it's a good pit stop, and we're back out again. And, you know, those two, two stops could be crucial at some point. All right, we're back out. We're going to use a bit of fuel. We're going to push. Because um, we save a lot of fuel under the safety car. Let's just keep an eye on the condition. Everything looks okay on Vossu's car. He's got that engine saving uh, knowledge thing as well. Which will help him. And will he undercut some cars here? He will. He's up into 10th. So that's gone pretty well. Go back to neutral because we're starting to overheat those softs. And we'll stay in high mode for the moment. Let's see if he can make some progress. There's a bunch more people in the pits now. Don't know if we'll gain another position. We might gain another one out of the pits. We do. Up into ninth. Fossu trying to go down the inside of Okamoto. Doesn't have the pace. Just got to worry. Let's use the boost. We're coming under pressure here from everybody. Every which way direction. Sandwiched in between the two white cars there. Uh, and he's lost out three positions in a corner. Our car sucks, man. <laughs> I always knew this would happen. I always knew we'd come back into the midfield or the lower half of the midfield. But it's still painful. After all those good results and just that falsehood of progress. Which we really don't have in reality. We've moved forward a bit since last year. We can definitely compete with those cars at the back of the field, but we just can't compete with that that top four or five teams. They're just in a different league to us at the moment. Right, so we've got one more stop to make. Um, probably look at making it around about lap 22-23. If we can get the under, undercut on the AI, we, that would be good. Soft tyres holding up okay. Um, let's just have a look when we pitted. Uh, I don't need to go on this screen actually. I need to go on this screen. Uh, pitted lap 15. So after only 6 laps we're down to 57%. I'm thinking we go early, try and get the undercut on the medium tyres. They'll have the life to go to the end and hopefully we'll be able to make up a bit of ground through the undercut. Because everybody already down quite a lot on tyre wear. So we'll come in this lap with Vossu, we'll put the mediums on till the end. They will be slower of course than the cars coming back out of the pits on the soft tyres. But hopefully it means that we can get a bit of an undercut. I'm just going to use that boost just in case the ERS fails in the pits. Because it has a habit of doing that recently. So, in comes Vossu. We need a clean stop here. Tyres are good. Recharge is good. And he's back out. At the rear of the field. That was about as good as we could have hoped for from that stop. We will push out of the pits just to make sure we maintain tyre temperature and use that boost. So, how many laps of undercut are we going to get? We need three or four, realistically, to make this work. Most of the people that stopped on soft tyres are already under 50% tyre life. So we should be quite a bit quicker. Keep an eye on that gap ahead. It's coming down, but not at a great rate of knots. So 17.7, 17.6. There is Farah coming out of the pits now. So we jumped Farah, not by much. I think Farah is already behind us in truth. And there's a lot of tyre wear that's come off already. 
did we go a bit early on this one? Minzy Parker and Maledo. We get past Parker and Maledo. And we've got a nice little advantage. The, the undercut's working. We'll keep the fuel on. We'll keep pushing. And once everyone's made the stop, we'll have to back back off. We'll use the boost as well. Let's just see if we can get a couple more positions out of the pits. It's just going to be the one. We'll see back up to 12. Is he in range of Taylor of Pernet even? Uh, not really. I think now is a good time to back back off them. So the undercuts made it a little bit more secure. We might get one position. We do. We get up to 10th. Top 10 is good progress. And now the tricky part of this race starts. So Farrow behind pitted on the same lap. And it's just been passed by Fernley. So Fernley is the car we've got to watch. There's going to be a lot of quicker cars coming through on brand new sets. Brand new soft tyres. Um, we've actually just picked up another position from Vacusi. But we just lost it because Fernley has just swept past. So much quicker on those soft tyres. And this is the problem with the undercut. You've then got to be you're then holding on against cars with a quicker compound and newer tyres. But everybody is fighting behind us, so 10th is still a possibility, but Vossu's going to have to work pretty hard for it. And oh, look at that. There's no defence. Giuliani just straight round the outside. Oh, we got rain. A few drops of, well, pretty heavy drops of rain. I think it's too early to worry about intermediates. But it might neutralise the tyre difference. We'll see. Um, Vosu complaining about the brakes. There, it's 26. They're okay till the end. And probably push and high a little bit. Just try and hold on to 11th. We need every point we can get with Dreyfus out. Yeah, we're not. There's two laps to go, Vosu. We're not sticking you on the intermediates. It would be suicide. We have seen it work a couple of times, but I don't think there's enough time to make that strategy work. It's too risky. 11th place is fairly decent. So, Vossu, now that we've increased him to push and a higher fuel mode, he's holding off the cars behind nicely as we move on to the final lap then. Just got to keep an eye on that fuel. Might go back to medium just to make sure it's safe. Let's use that boost. And I think Vossu has 11th all wrapped up. He does. As he comes through the final chicane then, it's a pretty good result for Vossu. 11th place is not too bad at all for the worst car on the grid. <laughs> and there was a lot to negotiate there today. And we did that just about. It's a shame for Dreyfus. It's not something that happens regularly. So I don't blame her at all for that. We'll move on to the next race for her. I'm sure she'll come back as strong as ever. Strategy, I think we did. We made the right calls today. Whether the medium tyres for the final stint was the correct one, we won't know because we didn't run the adverse strategy and we didn't have another car to run the other strategy. But um, 11th and 17th is actually one place better than we did last time out, 12th and 17th. So we're keeping it up. Um, yeah, Dreyfus still, she shouldn't actually get points. <laughs> In normal work sport laws, if you DNF, you don't get points. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. Four points is more than welcome. Uh, we dropped to eighth and ninth in the championship then. Um, and it's all incredibly close in this midfield. Um, and it means we drop to fourth place in the championship. Um, just one point behind Juma race team. Two points ahead of Nakata. Three points ahead of Marshall and three points ahead of Mega. So this is incredibly close from third to seventh. And if we can get a few decent results, it's a fight we can... We might be able to fight. Ninth and tenth is the two teams that if we don't beat them, I'm going to be so disappointed. Eighth is the minimum. But Orleans, 
We sh we've got a nice gap on at the moment, so that look is looking likely. But we are only halfway through the season. And we've got three te four teams that we're fighting incredibly hard with. Um, so there's every chance of finishing a bit higher than we suspected. But tough race. Disappointing one from one driver. A pretty good result for the other. Voku definitely proving his worth. I wasn't too sure when we took him on. He is a paid driver. And his stats looks okay, but nothing special in comparison to Dreyfus. Um, uh, he's still improving, though, as is Dreyfus. And Vosu does have the potential to be as good a driver as Dreyfus one day. So he's doing a great job, getting some valuable points for the team there. The chairman's happy, as always, because um, we obviously... That's the great thing. We chose 10th this season, and it just makes everything a bit easier. Apart from this bit. <laughs> so we lose another million. Um, hopefully. I think next time out we're going to have a new sponsor. So hopefully that will make the financial situation a little bit easier. Um, and depending on how good the sponsor is. We may be able to put another part or two on the car. But quite likely not. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always. Keep your help and advice coming in the comment section. It keeps me going and keeps me informed as well. Because there's so many things that I'm constantly being told. That I still, even after 100 hours in this game, I didn't know. Um, and it's great. That's the whole... The joy of playing through this kind of game. When people are watching and commenting as well. You can all come along for the ride and help influence what happens as well. So, as always, um, do let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. If you enjoyed the episode, um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, um, and go check out the Single Seeds playthrough as well. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.